So now the last uh, three videos that we looked at involve this circuitry here. As the uh, signal voltage right here rises, one after the other LED starts lighting up. And uh, the earlier ones don't turn off. You just get more and more that are lit up as the voltage rises. So right now we have a capacitor. This was covered in the last video. 33,000 ohm resistor to charge the capacitor. 100 microfarad capacitor. But we have this jumper here. So any current goes directly to ground. The capacitor cannot charge. If I remove the uh, jumper from one side or the other, then we don't have a path to discharge. You can see the capacitor charges the LEDs light up. We have a NPN bipolar junction transistor here, wired as an emitter follower, because the capacitor cannot provide the current needed to get the LEDs to light up. It will uh, drop, and uh, we won't get that effect. So, in any case, for this video, we are going to look at the actual voltage right there. So, the other end of the cable here from this oscilloscope comes to these alligator clips, and we can go anywhere to the negative rail because that's where the negative side of the capacitor is. And uh, now we're going to look at the voltage of the uh, positive side of the capacitor, the total voltage across it. But in any case, that's the voltage also you get from the signal, except for it drops 0.6 volts with an emitter follower. So the uh, signal voltage will actually be 0.6 volts, lower than what we will see on the screen. But in uh, any case, we'll uh, come back here and remove the jumper and look at that voltage. You can see that voltage rise and uh, when we probably had about 1.2 volts approximately, so it's one volt per square, that LED probably lit up and then every 0.6 volts after that, another one lit up because we have a diode drop along the way. So in any case, that is for the capacitor there, a sliding voltage up, which uh, is not too surprising. Right there, that's how uh, capacitors charge. Their voltage goes up as they charge. And now we're gonna look at the other signal we gave. So this is a 220 ohm resistor to the negative supply right there. We have a jumper there to the positive supply. So I'm using 220 ohms because it's a five volt uh, power supply. That's what I have it set to right there. And 220 ohms to protect an LED is about the minimum that you want. And for our signal, we're gonna use this fast flashing red, blue, green LED right there. So that's the three colors that it has. And it's called fast because there's also a slow version right there. So it might be called fast flashing or fast blinking, one of the two. Our signal is gonna come where the LED and the resistor connect. So when the LEDs are brighter, there's more current going through the resistor right there. It's limiting the uh, maximum current. But when the LEDs turn off, there's practically no current flow right there. So when there's no current flow, whatever current's going through the LED is also going through the resistor, then there is a lower voltage across the resistor. So we're gonna see more LEDs light up from this circuitry when it is uh, more current going through the uh, red, blue, green LED, the fast flashing right there. And uh, so there you can see that. But for more accuracy, of course, you want the oscilloscope. And we still have the uh, black alligator clip, clipped to the blue jumper in the same spot that we did before. Now we're gonna go up to where, we could go to either signal actually, doesn't matter, either side of the jumper, we'll get uh, the same voltage right there. And you can see it bouncing up and down. So we're only getting about two volts, so it might be better to use uh, six volts and 330 ohm resistors uh, right there. Hopefully that'll get you another volt, maybe go up a little bit more, but you can see that one down there is uh, glowing a fair amount when the uh, voltage gets high enough. So this is perfectly fine for this video. And uh, this capacitor and stuff down here is not connected to it at all. It's being controlled completely by the uh, fast flashing LED and the protective resistor. So in any case, hope you found that interesting. Main takeaway is when it comes to changing voltages, uh, use an oscilloscope. They're uh, not too complex, especially these cheap, uh, simple ones. So I recommend uh, getting them if you don't have one. They make electronics a lot more interesting, especially when it comes to changing voltages. Nothing looks at changing voltages like an oscilloscope. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen. Click like, subscribe the bell. All that, if you can donate, please do. I have links down below that helps out a ton, but I appreciate that you watch the video too. So thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.